forward. Go ahead, let's go. go ahead. All right, guys, and moving quickly without uh, wasting any time, moving into uh, round two here. Legendary Snails taking their marine round here on Tram. Now they're starting aliens here up in server room. Down Titus Gaming starting there in shipping. Let's see what happens here. Four Crush moving on the right side of the map. They may split off. And we see Titus going with the really conversional, pretty much old school opening. Two to one with one scouting hub and two on each side to cap at the start. That gives aliens a lot of time in the early game to expand and go for mass RTs if they want to, like platform, warehouse, mezzanine, job all of that, because the the pressure will come a little bit late, delayed, if those marines kind of cap on both sides completely. Got a uh, clog wall now moving up. Heracles putting that up here in ore processing. Hopefully he won't get stuck in it like Golden did one day. <laughs> oh. Is there a base rush coming? Look at the Skulks himself. Now they're actually grouping for repair, it seems. Yeah. James and Ray moving up against Golden and Arline. Here comes the pounce. Arline taking Ray out. Golden taking. Here comes Eagle Eye. Oh, he might actually can he clean do this it? up. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he does. At the same time, you have King Yo in the base, forcing the commander to log out. Was not too happy about it. Didn't do any damage. King Yo is still alive. But he's pretty low. Yep. Like zero health now. <laughs> like dead now. <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> Signic and Joshi here in the hub. Dames and Ray moving uh, into there. It looks like they're gonna be chased just a bit. A little bit of chip damage happening on Dames. As these two Marines power into the hub. Oh, that's gonna be the first pressure. A little bit delayed here, almost two minutes into the game, a three-man pressure. Kinda... that's really potent and really dangerous. But, oh my god, Eli takes one of them already. Look at that cleanup! Oh my god! There are bodies everywhere! <laughs> wow. Great and with, play. With that Drifter in the lead, moving now into ET. One Gorge, two Skulks. We got uh, Arline and Golden here in Repair Room. Uh, Bitey moving out through South Tunnels. The RT going down here in ET. No one's going to save that in time. That's definitely going to go down. Titus Gaming, though, at five extractors at the two-minute mark. Legendary Snails at four. They're about to lose two here. Yeah, and this is a game. kind of high eco game at the moment. I think what Versal is going to do, he'll probably definitely try to sneak out the face gate at some point in time. He's going to get some upgrades now. Armor 1, probably Weapon 1 and Shotguns. And then I would expect face gates because they didn't... They couldn't apply this early pressure like Titus could, and they're dealing with a high rest count for aliens. So they definitely need to have some fortified positions to work against it, slowly make the back way into this game. Yeah, I agree. Joshi and Bitey now moving into Warehouse. We got two pressure there in Warehouse. We got two pressure here um, right outside ore processing. But in the base, we got Dames in there with a Gorge trying to bite down that IP, 76%, forcing Versal to get out. Uh, and actually shoot. Our line now moving up in ore processing. One of the Marines died here from the Hydras, and they're just gonna move out and snipe down this Harvester. Yeah, without the Commander in the chair, you cannot get map packs, no support, but it was a beautiful positioning by the Commander. He clearly saved the day without him logging out and going into the north in this space. That's, that could have been really bad going there. But here we go. So first Harvester went down in ore processing. We have still a three-man pressure entering Warehouse. Here's the lurk already. Double lurk, actually. King Yo and Ray. Ray at 79. He's gonna still commit to this fight. Wow. <laughs> Got cleared out by by Air France. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> if you know the reference. Yeah. You'll have to know the reference to that to get that joke. <laughs> Air France. Dames and Heracles here now in repair room, taking that down. King Yo and Ray as that double lurk play. Double lurk is so, so, so popular these days. I mean, it, it, it's, it's such a great strategy. I mean, you got s such great movement, uh, and you're able to respond around the map really, really quick. Uh, when those double lurks come into play to engage some Marines, um, it, you know, you, if you got some great lurks, um, you, can, uh, you can do some damage. Yeah, it's pretty good in early game, as well as starting for uh, mine tactic, which Versal did, like having mines early because the lurks can spike them down pretty much uh, without any danger. But the problem with, of course, is with that you have kind of one less fate or honors in the field later on. 
So you really need to make it pay off. That means you have to have a much better early game. Mm -hmm. Ray uh, just harassing here uh, in mezzanine as Sicknick and Bidey move in. We got two Marine pressure. Joshi and Arline now moving into North Tunnels. Uh, let's take a look at the P-Res count. Dames at 33, Eagle Eye at 33. So. They still have a ton of resources there. Four, they only lost one in the whole time. Have constant 40s and average. You know, that's pretty good for the snails. Yep. Really, Titus needs to play much more pressure. Titus just getting weapons one upgrades out. Two Marines get cleaned up here in warehouse. Two Marines, Bitey and Sicknick now moving into server room, into the main hive. They're hunting for the shells, and Bitey finds them. <laughs> oh! oh like, too late. <laughs> <laughs> but they find them. They know exactly where they're at. They're going to try to probably go for that again. Golden now up against the double lurk here, and the hob doesn't do too well. Gets taken out. Oh, Whistle's going for weapon two. No shotguns yet. Um, well, which kind of makes sense because all the players spent so much PRS on those mines, so they couldn't really afford a lot of shotguns, anyways, right now. So it's kind of okay, but still, I would expect him to go for face gates somewhere in this game. There we go. Shotgun research has started. I had a feeling that on his next 20, he was going to research that. I need some ops first. He doesn't have ops for him. But yeah, so, I mean, it's still going on kind of even amount of harvesters right now. Four for Moraines, four for aliens. And this, as the game is designed, favors aliens a little bit. So the Moraines really need to do something a little bit, at least make the aliens busy on defending much more. The pressure team needs to stay alive longer, mm -hmm. which is not the case. So they have to kind of position really carefully and kind of fall back when they see they're getting about to get grouped up and get killed and ambushed by the aliens. Oh, Ray may get caught here by Golden! <laughs> oh, that oh was 12%. Very, very close. Had that weapons 2 been completed, which is completing in a, you know, a few seconds, I think Ray would have went down. Uh, Absolutely, yeah. He was so low. 10%, come on. That, he would have been lost it. But the yeah. shotguns are now out, and every you know they, they got one roll of shotguns, one round uh, here. So they really cannot lose these. <laughs> yeah, they have to watch out. That's absolutely Yeah, it could be a game decider, actually. If they go too far deep into enemy territory and lose all their guns so they can't pick it up and recycle them, um, that's going to be a heavy blow to them. Because like all of them are buying them. I'm really glad Joshi is not buying a shotgun. So they need to have a little bit split, you know, you don't need to have three or four shotguns. It's cool if one or two Marines have LMG because they can pick up a shotgun of a fallen teammate. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh, oh god. No. Oh So and they saw no that huge push. Look at this! They, that's it! They're going after the command station! There's oh, no god. OBS! You can't beacon! Everyone's out and they redropped one in ET. Oh god, what a beautiful move. They drop elevator, but the aliens should already go there. Screw those IPs, go to elevator, screw them, come on. Oh no. And they may they, they may win it right here. Our line now. Ooh, Eagle oh. Eye. Eagle Eye almost <laughs> gets lost. Our line jumps in! <laughs> he was ducking! <laughs> he was ducking as he hit that button. <laughs> okay, the game is not over. They saved it. They saved it for the moment. IPs going up, kind of relocating to elevator. And still have those IPs and shipping, but the problem is with all of these, they're, they're losing so much time because they can't put any pressure oh! on the rebuild now. King Yo gets killed by a mine and Joshi's pistol here in shipping, so they lose a lurk. And they're able to fend them off. They're still in there. Wow, nice defense. Yep, they're still in this you game. Know, yeah, you know, if you compare that to last game with the snails, um, they all already had the same weakness. That was the note I wanted to put in like before the game started. Is like if you do that aggressive gameplay, have no ops, no face gates, the most vulnerable point is you get base rush. Yes. And always when I was looking at the minimap, the Marines were positioned and zoning perfectly. And this is the kind of deep gameplay you don't instantly see or it's really hard to adapt to it. Like don't leave open spots where the aliens can just bypass freely. And they were kind of blocking all those routes to the base. And this time Titus left the spot open. They all went through half. It was so easy to get to the base. Dams and Eagle Eye uh, here in server room. Fresh free marine pressure here in Mezzanine. Our line, Bidey and Sicknick. And we're seeing that uh, King Yo putting in a little RT pressure here in repair room. We got Heracles uh, harassing main base. 
Oh, the oh there threats. we go. Oh, there we go. Phase, Phase gates. gates. And advanced armoring. Nice. Well, they do have the rest at the moment. Yeah. Because they didn't lose them. So, 9 minutes, 50 seconds into this match, Versal decides to get an AA and phase tech research at the same time. These three Marines from Mezzanine are going to relocate here to North Tunnels. They may just put the... They may put a phase gate here. <laughs> I don't know. Probably I a pub, I guess. Uh, yeah, or, or I processing. Seen, uh, many phase or, would be, there. or processing would be pretty good because it locks down warehouse, it locks down ore. Like, this is chain to repair is lost and... Kind of the whole side of rest is kind of lost for the edit, so that one might be the goal here with three man and or like let's see if Versal will put up the power node. Right now, Bitey, Arline, and Sickness are here taking down this harvester. Uh, advanced armory is almost done. Man, with that defense, if Titus still wins this, I will be like, <laughs> wow, that was pretty good because that was an awesome defense what they did. Absolutely, AA yeah. is now done. It was pretty close as well. Ooh, Proto is dropped. So right after this, he's right after that Proto's built, his next 25 is go is sinking into jetpack research. Yeah, but then I oh, up. Eagle Eye! On the feet! Oh, he does go down! Sicknick jumps off <laughs> the top there and just tags him at the doorway. Beautiful job. Oh my god, this might turn completely around here. I mean, so it's at such a great start. So many harvesters. <laughs> they could kill all the pressure teams. And, what, and they even almost won the game by base rush. But what's going on now? They lost all the... The lurks are down. One fate is down. And we see jetpacks about to pop pretty soon. Shotgun lost in repair room. Dam's taking down golden jetpack. There we go. Jetpack research has started. Uh, in terms of resources, though, they have enough for j most of them have enough for jets, but not like both. Um, so they're going to need a combined 35 p, uh, p res for a jet and shotgun. Plus three for the welder. You yes. definitely want the welder. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Got Ray moving back there in ore processing down here. Dames taking down Golden again in South Tunnels. Uh, look at this res biting now by the snails. Look what yeah. they're doing. Like, they are all about the res biting. And I should have done this way earlier, I think. I mean, they let the Moraines have, like, average four to five extractors the whole game, even though they killed all the Moraines in the pressure. I mean, sometimes as alien, you can easily, like, change or uh, trade um, RTs for that. Because it's much more painful for the Moraines if they're below three RTs than for the aliens. They can definitely live for a moment with just two harvesters or even one. They can rebuild that faster. It doesn't really make that much of a difference than like being the Marine economy completely broke. Mighty R line and Sicknick. There's the power socketed here in or processing. Phase gate is probably gonna go up pretty soon. Oh yeah, there we go. A little bit delayed, later as we thought, but well, it paid off going to warehouse earlier, killing the fate and stuff. There we go, phase gate has been dropped in ore, and we also have the ghost structured phase gate inside the base, Golden's gonna build that. Josh, you're gonna rebuild observation, King Yo taking down the logistics RT, dropping Titus down to one. Titus and, needs yeah. to be careful right now, very, very and, careful. And that's super hurting right now, if you look at that, Versal cannot drop any map packs, any ammo. He can't do nothing. He has to wait until he gets the resources, and he or he recycled the he advanced armor to get some. Yeah. Yeah. And now he can drop extractors again because each costs ten, and you're kind of really bound to do nothing when you're that low on eco. Now I I just have to remind people what happened to Titus the last time Versal <laughs> recycled an AA. <laughs> uh, in that I game, he recycled the AA. And uh, basically, they came in and killed the Proto. Oh, look at Orr. Yeah, oh my god. Up. Wow. And they're going to turn this into a feed gate. That's it. That base gate is lost. No way to save that. Um, so it, it, it's, you know, it hurts there. You know, you recycle your AA, but if they come in and, gra and take your Proto down, then to redrop a Proto and get your jets back, you need to re-research an AA and redrop a Proto. So it's just, it's, it really hurt them that game. Warehouse now has been claimed. Very good, very good call from the Snails, knowing that once they secured ore processing, uh, that it was clear to drop Warehouse. And they have to make sure there won't be another phase gate 
because that's really threatening that hive. They cannot allow like Golden and Arline from the hub go into there. They have to kind of intercept them before they do, and I think they're doing it right now. With the Fade, Dams and some Skugs here going into the hub. Just two LMGs, not much they can do. Yeah. They end up going down. We got uh, Bitey and Sicknick. Uh, Titus is really trying to rebuild uh, and just, like hold on to their uh, to their res and reestablish their economy. Yeah, and I have to say it doesn't look super fluid what Versal is doing here with the kind of upgrades. Um, he researched jetpacks, but no one has PRS to buy any of those. Did, or I mean, I didn't see a jetpack yet. And he researched face gate also before, but never dropped the face gate until like five minutes later. Mm -hmm. That all doesn't seem like a perfect transition from a game plan. It's kind of okay. I get this and this and this, and some some point later I will use that. Not not putting priorities in there. I think it's something you can definitely tweak upon. Well, now we got a phase gate that's dropped in the hub to give us a little central location there, but they've lost observation uh, and logistics, uh, RTs uh, as well. So I don't know how much this is. Uh, they're going to need to back cap a lot. Uh, we also got Heracles at 60 P res, meaning he can go Onos right now. <laughs> he might go Onos in, in the second after that. We might see the first jetpacks as a re response to that. Yeah. <laughs> so the option is there, Jetpacks Research, and we have enough players able to buy one. But two RTs still for Titus, and they're really, like, you know, busy on recapping all time while the snails sit on five solid harvesters. That's a lot of income for them. Bitey gets caught on a reload here against Dams in Warehouse as he was trying to take down that Drifter. Joshy, Golden, and Arline still holding down in the hub. Joshy taking down Heracles as he tries to stream through there. But, uh, it, you know, again, I say this every time I see this happen. This, At the end of the day, this is, a, this is an economy game. And you, for the most part, usually the team with the most money um, will take it. And uh, slowly but surely, you know what I mean? Look at Warehouse. We have oh, yeah. four jetpackers in there. They this want heavy this. Push, yeah. <laughs> Let's take a yeah. look from Bitey. They're trying to force the beacon. And it's trying to go on the base, but they might be a little bit too late. I will go down. That person can beacon. Great job! Wow, really nice for Sigma, buying a lot of time. So Ooh. that hive definitely down. Mines blow up the uh, the push here in shipping. Versal jumps out and jumps right back in. Phase gate being dropped here in the warehouse. Good call from Versal. Yeah, he lost the phase gate in Hub as it, he traded it basically, left it completely open. The took it out, but he needs a phase gate somewhere on the map, and Varus is the next best thing right now. So, completely good one. But he will still try to grab Hub, I guess. Well, we got uh, Heracles out now. Um, he's moving into the Hub with Dames as that fade. It looks like they are going to try to pinch these guys. They know that if they get these jetpackers down, that's it. They're ground-based for a while <laughs> because they have no res to replace this. Our line is the yeah. only one that can replace a, uh, uh, a jetpack. Uh, oh just boy. getting up on 30s, but uh -oh. here we go. But Warehouse is not very good for on no. to fight in against <laughs> no. Jetpack, but here we go. Oh my god. They take our line down pretty quickly. Here comes the shots. Bitey really low. He escapes through the phase gate. A lot of mucus being used here and Ansem's and Heracles! Oh, oh my god, he almost went down there. 13%. And he's still in. Bitey. Oh they take him down! Bitey takes him down and escapes through the phase gate! <laughs> You know, wow. that was costly. <sighs> that costly was costly. Yeah. yeah. Not quite sure if it was good or not. I mean, you couldn't debate either side because Marines, look at that. They're pretty much left without a face gate now and they might easily lose the economy again. But the problem is that Honors takes so long to gather up those 60 PRS. Well, you know, if Snails can maneuver their three fades and the Lurk right now in a really good pack play, kind of like what they're doing right now in Repair Room, um, then. They could they can end up ecking out quite an advantage here. Bitey and Sicknick now moving into the hub. Bitey still has uh, his jet. Sicknick has it as well. The oh, I thought they were gonna chase King. Yo, no! They take Ray. <laughs> what did he do there? I don't know. <laughs> he just wanted to turn around the corner, but he kind of yeah miscalculated that situation. I guess nice shot also on the other hand. Now we. 
Uh, got uh, Onos upgrades that have been finished. Dames has to be careful here. He may get caught by Bitey. Bitey's gonna chase him. <laughs> nice turnaround. It was pretty close by Dams. And that face kit is going up, so Titus is definitely still in this. They still have that jetpack, still have weapon 2 armor 1, and yep. they still have some kind of eco economy for RTs. Um, they keep taking out some life bombs, but we still three fades now. It's three fades in total with constant 5 6 harvests for the aliens. They keep swarming all those PRS and life bombs and just throwing <laughs> money at the problem, basically. Yeah, Bidey runs away again into the phase gate to save his precious jetpack. <laughs> I mean, it's a smart move, you know, when you know you're gonna die. You got a phase, get out of there! <laughs> oh, that was costly for the Marines. Look at the PRS count. No one can buy a jetpack, no one can buy a shotgun. Yeah, they they really have to... At this point, Titus needs to really stay together. Um, you know, do a little bit of pack play on their own, but it's just really going to be tough against, especially three fades, backed up by the Skulks all biting at your kneecaps. I mean, it's just really tough. Skulk upgrades now have started, so they're going to get leap pretty soon, which is just going to make it, you know, the days even worse for these Marines. Oh, the Marines are splitting up as well. I'm not quite sure if this is a good call. Just one LMG and one check. Oh, although Bidey has a shotgun and a checkpack somehow, and he goes down! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, and so does Joshi. Marines get cleaned up in ET, and now Snail seems to be turning it around oh. despite a phase gate going up in Warehouse. That's sneaky, and they have to power build that. Come on, Golden, build, build, build. Screw the Drifter, you have to build it before the phase are here. No! Oh no, Eagle Eye is tearing up another one! Oh, oh and then, and look at that. Denied! Denied. <laughs> 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 Sad oh God, face Golden. for Golden. If he wouldn't have shot the Drifter, the face game would have gone up. Oh, I know. That's all they needed. And three fades now moving here against three Marines. Bitey, Arline, and Golden. Push them out of logistics. Yeah, they really need to go together. I mean, less than three Marines with just LMGs is not kind of working against three fades at this moment. And look at the P-Rest. Stamps already could go on us if he loses his fade. So all that income, look, seven harvesters in total. God, everything <laughs> is going green on this map. <laughs> this map is slowly creeping with infestation all over the place. Uh, and, and Titus is just getting locked in their little base. Hey, yo! Whoa, that was ballsy. Oh, oh! oh! I told you! <laughs> I'm mad! I saw him blink in to three marines here in repair room around there, and I'm like, uh, that's, that's nothing you want to blink into. Yeah, not alone. <laughs> he learned it the hard way. Yeah. <laughs> well, he knows, but he still took the chances. <laughs> he can refade, and that's exactly what he's doing. I mean, if you're at that point with so much income and you have the rest to refade, yeah. you, you can't take some more risks. <laughs> yeah, definitely. you have throwaway onuses, you know? <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Like, Dams can also play greedy as hell, because the moment he dies, he's gonna be oh, yeah. a big space cow, basically. Oh. And there we go. Clean up on both sides of the map. And now, I mean, Titus is... I, I have to give it to them for, for fighting this through, but they are... Uh, <laughs> they are definitely hurt right now. Yeah, absolutely. Had some really good chances, but it lost way too many checkpicks, especially in the warehouse engagement. Um, everyone was focusing their on us, you know. Actually, I think I would have shot the, fa the fates first, mm. and as soon as they are out, the on us, there's nothing you can do because you can fly up there, and the on us will never reach you. So why focus him in warehouse? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, looking at the uh, just looking at the maps right now, 20 uh, resource towers lost for Titus. 10 harvesters for the snails. You can see the income disparity right here. Uh, team resources, 837 to 1,030. Uh, team kills, 46 to 80. So they're basically ahead 2 to 1 in, in, in team kills, which obviously we can see translate into what's happening in this yeah. game. <laughs> Armor 2 now has been completed. Yeah, focus on amateur. What that makes a difference is that the Skulks and Fates need additional hits um, to take down the Marine, which definitely can make a big difference here. But the problem is, as soon as Anos comes out and everything, 
I mean, it does do a difference, but weapon 3 is also pretty powerful. But also more expensive, so I like it. Oh, base rush, base rush, forcing a beacon. Well, they pulled him out of ET, which was great. Look, little healing base uh, here in observation. That's going to be really tough for any of these Marines to break through. They don't have a robotics factory, meaning they can't arc it. They don't. Even, they don't have the economy to arc it. Uh, you know, to say that as well. And the characters as a coach constantly taunting the Marines. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, building up a fort in observation, basically a natural expansion for the Marines. That's pretty much telling right now that Tidus is in a yeah. pretty bad spot. Well, they're gonna lose now logistics. Um, they have three RTs up. Where? I got one. Oh, yeah, the one in observation's going down to a whip. Gorge tunnel? <laughs> oh god, right that's here. a meta tunnel. Oh, Heracles. Oh, he doesn't get the head, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that was really funny. A gorge tunnel right there. <laughs> that's how confident they are right now that they have this game. So we're just going through the final death throws of Titus uh, in this game. We're just kind of seeing the cleanup happen here from the snails. Yeah, no, Eric Lee saying that a comeback's incoming. <laughs> yeah, if you open up the resource tower graphs, it pretty much shows where this game went, like after the 50 minute mark. Yeah. One over. If you look at the mini map, I mean, it's pretty much telling <laughs> what team has what map control at the moment. Well, they've put up power. They're they're trying to go as a pack now here into logistics. Um. Oh, the last round of jetpacks. This is gonna be another push on warehouse. The aliens need to rush the base pretty fast. If they can force a beacon, oh! that's really good. They take down uh, a lurk. Why are they taking down the extractor, not the hives? They have to focus on the hives. They're losing the proto. Oh, oh this may or be. The oh man. Reversal jumps out. Proto lab half health. And it forced all the Marines back to base. Yeah. So mission accomplished for snails. And you know, this this may happen to them again here, where they lose the proto and then they can't redrop it because they don't have an AA. <laughs> and they lost another jetpack up by the pretty load and hub. Kinda like, guys, where are you guys? <laughs> like everyone went back to defend the base and he was left in hub and lost his jetpack as a result of that. When you're sitting on two RTs only, that's well. You don't want Pretty to be, expensive. Why are we throwing these away? Yeah. Oh, look at Ray dancing there against four Marines. I know. I would have died like the instant they saw me, but Ray stays alive for 15 minutes. Oh, the proto again. <laughs> Versal is out, Commander is down, and the proto will die. Oh, All the man. Marines out of position. Yeah. Trying to build a phase gate to get through. Command station oh yeah, yeah but the power is down. Control. The power, the power is up. The face gets active. Grind oh, the here they right. come! Oh, oh. I don't know what just happened there, but a lot of explosions. <laughs> oh man, but they lose their armory, and the phase yeah. gates down to uh, they basically 39%. lost 50 T res in them. Marines and also the time to, as he told before, if you lose the proto now and you don't have Midman's armor left over, you can't rebuild that. And I think that's gonna be it. You got a nice little whip. Whips echoing in. Ugh. And there we go. Phase gate's done. Titus, I love you guys, but <laughs> things are looking a little bit grim. <laughs> a little bit. They still don't give up, they keep fighting. I mean, are they... G oh, by the way, I, I can't believe we missed this, but have you seen the P-Res for dams? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he hit 100 at one point. 100 right now. Ray at 75, Eagle Eye at 64, Kingyo at 42. <laughs> oh my god. They might go... They could go three on us right now. Might even wait for five and just go in for the fun. I cannot believe Bristol actually had enough money to start upgrading advanced armory. Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> I don't know, but he's down to one RT at the moment. So whatever he does, it takes a lot of ticks now. 
even if, like, they, what are they gonna get? So what? They get an advanced <laughs> armory, they get GLs and flamethrowers. What? No one has any money to buy anything. Uh, yeah, with one OT, this takes ages to get the PRS count up. I mean, by the time he can't afford a proto lap, um, those players could afford a jetpack, I guess. But this is gonna be a long, long time. And honestly, I think Versal is just showing, um, guys, we're gonna make this a long evening. <laughs> <laughs> maybe he's, you know, maybe he's playing like the the, the time zone game here, right? Like he's vote, he, he's betting on fatigue. Oh. <laughs> Like, forcing me to stop at 11 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Sicknick and Vitey now moving in through South Tunnels. Onos out on the field. That's going to be Ray. Uh, oh, it looks like he's going to find Sicknick. Sicknick runs. <laughs> disappeared through Too the wall. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, so with two on us, they can just basically group up, all go on the base, and just end this. Take this game. Yeah, and, and, and there we go. They, they call uh, it. Uh, obviously, this should have been called uh, a, while, a bit ago. Uh, but hey, you know, they, they tried to tough it out. We can blame them, it's a grand finals. Yeah, there we go. Legendary Snails takes it 2 0 against Titus Gaming.